So we're just gonna sit here and ignore the fact that the NBA did the Los Angeles Lakers dirty. I mean, you think I don't know this? You think I don't see this? You think I don't know this? I admire everything that Adam Silver has done throughout his entire tenure as being a commissioner for the NBA. I applaud him the most for putting on games in the bubble where we didn't even think the NBA could finish out their season. So I have no problem with anyone in the upper echelon of the NBA's front office, no problem. I respect everybody, but I'm just gonna explain what I see and what I feel. As always on the show, I keep it 100. All in all, big picture, here's the reason why. The NBA completed their longest season last year. Longest season in, in NBA history. Started in October, 2019, which feels like forever ago, and didn't end until mid-October, 2020. 22 teams entered the bubble in Orlando. Only one left the NBA champion, that being the Los Angeles Lakers, in case you forgot. LeBron James won his fourth NBA championship and his fourth finals MVP. He is the first player and only player to win the NBA finals and finals MVP with three different teams. Go stuff. But the two teams that participated in the NBA finals only got two months off, whereas everyone else in the NBA all got a longer break than those two teams. And all of that is evidence as to how this shortened break gave the Los Angeles Lakers trouble. We look at the injury to Anthony Davis and LeBron James. They missed months, it felt like. Of course, LeBron sprained his ankle. Davis injured his quad against the Nuggets. They went from the three seed all the way down to possibly being in the play-in tournament. Let's be real, the plane is looking more like a possibility than a fantasy for the Lakers. But that shortened break had everything to do with it. All right, let's just be honest. The body can only take so much. Of course, it's, it's a heavy duty sport. For those that haven't really played, basketball is a really heavy duty sport. It's heavy on your knees, your ankles, shoulders. You need your body in order to play at 100%. And like LeBron said, after spraining his ankle, he don't think he'll get back to 100% in his career. Of course, I think all that is mind games, but that's another conversation for another day. Let's look at the Eastern Conference champions, the Miami Heat. They have had some struggles at the start of the season, but they haven't had the injuries that the Lakers have had. So they lie at the sixth spot, possibly gonna avoid the playing tournament. But with the Lakers, guys, it's as clear as day. Clear as day that that two month break that they got is just evidence that they are struggling from that break. Normally during an actual season, pre-COVID, finals would end in mid-June, training camp wouldn't start until mid-September. And even then, at the start of the preseason games, the main players and the stars wouldn't even play in those preseason games. So technically, those guys get four months off. So you mean to tell me that the NBA couldn't have waited at least two more months to start out the season. Because let's not forget, we had no idea when the next season was going to start. There were rumors saying it was January. Rumors were that it was February. But we finally got the answer in late October that the season was going to begin December 22nd of 2020. And it's just, it's weird. It's weird. I like it. I'm not complaining, you know, but... It's weird to the fact that many players that were in the bubble last year are now getting hurt. Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, LeBron, Steph Curry got hurt, James Harden got hurt. Just so many players, albeit not all of them were in the bubble, but with this quick turnaround, we get to see a lot more injuries. And my final takeaway, you could take it how you want, but from the magnitude, that LeBron James brings game to game, playoff to playoff, NBA Finals to NBA Finals, the NBA, sadly, just does not want to see LeBron James win another NBA Finals. That is going to be it for me, guys. Please like and subscribe. Comment on if you think the NBA did LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers dirty. It's your boy, Hollywood AJ. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep it 100. I'm out.